Assalamu alaikum students, hope you are fine by the grace of Allah. Today I am here from Labi Banjafi State and today I am here for class 5 students. So students, today I will be discussing about a chapter from your Bangladesh and Global Studies for English version students obviously. So students, today we will be going through chapter 6, Climate and Disaster. So students, let's start this video. So students, now we are in chapter 6, Climate and Disasters. So at first, in the first lesson, we'll be able to know what is climate change and what are the effects of climate change and what are the causes of climate change. So here, the different effects of impact, sorry, different impacts of climate change are described. So in the second lesson, we'll be able to know what is riverbank erosion, what, how riverbank erosion co is caused, and what are the very bad effects of riverbank erosion. Now in the third lesson, we'll be able to know about drought. What is drought and what are the man-made causes of drought are also mentioned here. So students, now our fourth lesson is about earthquakes. In this lesson, we'll be able to know the, about the three zones of earthquakes. Here, the, the three zones are marked in the Bangladesh map. The red zone is the most risk zone and the yellow zone is the medium risk zone and the green zone is the lower risk zone. In the then now students let's go through the exercises part of this chapter so students Bangladesh and global studies class 5 chapter 6 climate and disaster so at first we'll go through some tick marks number one which of these divisions is in the zone are most prone to earthquakes a Silet, b Borishal, c Khulna, d chortogram so students we already saw the map of the zones of earthquakes so hey, well in that map we saw that sealet is in the zone which is the most prone to earthquakes so the, so the answer will be a sealet now our second topic is it is filling the blanks here is one filling the blank there is more drought in the northwest of bangladesh because there is low rainfall now students let's go through some short question answers number one Name two natural causes of disasters. Answer. Disasters occur due to different causes. Among those two natural causes are number one, natural or geographical location. Number two, climate change. Second question. Name two man-made causes of disasters. Answer. Disasters occur because of human activities as well. Two man-made causes of disaster are as follows. Number one. Emission of smoke from factories and vehicles. Number two, cutting down trees. Now our third question, name three impacts of climate change on Bangladesh. Answer, three impacts of climate change on Bangladesh are as follows. Number one, increase in average temperature. Number two, heavy rainfall or less rainfall. Number three, increase of natural disasters. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. Number one, which areas of Bangladesh are river erosion prone and why? Answer. In Bangladesh, the areas near the river banks suffer more from erosion most. Usually, the level of river water rises due to excessive rainfall during the rainy season. The current and extra volume of water puts pressure on the banks. As a result, the banks brushed, causing the river erosion. The main natural cause of river erosion is flood. There are also man-made causes of river erosion which has natural causes. Extraction of sand from river beds, cutting down trees near river banks, unplanned river excavation, etc. are man-made causes of river erosion. Now students, let's go through our second descriptive question. Which areas of Bangladesh are drought affected area and why? Answer. Drought occurs mostly in the northwestern parts of Bangladesh. These areas suffer from drought because of dry weather, less rain, and fewer rivers. The districts which are mostly drought prone are Dinashpur, Rongpur, Bogura, and Rajshahi. Besides natural causes, there are also man made causes of drought. These are cutting down trees indiscriminately, too many buildings covering the ground, air pollution from factories, etc. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. Our next video will be from chapter 7, Human Rights. You all are invited to watch that video. See you soon. Assalamu alaikum.